Welcome to my wrestling magazine collection. Today I'm gonna show you the 15th annual women's ranking because they keep raising it to like 50 to 100. Now it's 150. As you can see here, it says stars women's 150 is totally stars from Stark. Got our stars from Stark. And Frank, frankly, it's about time. As you can see here, there are some female wrestlers whose name I cannot pronounce are in this from set promotion Starstrom. There's also like a feature from the desk. It's about basically like the history of Japanese wrestling. Like Starstrom's first ever five hour pay per view, five hour or at least five hour show. Well, it's five hours, like almost WrestleMania length. Right? There's even the controversial one where Antonio Noki defeated Bob Buckland for the WWF title, but the company WWF didn't recognize it for some reason. No. Here are some reviews for like some books and some podcasts. And talking trash, I'm gonna read number one. MJF returns to AEW. It was the second most talk about appearance by a wrestling villain. Right behind the debut of a new bad guy known as Media Scum. <laughs> And there was one of those caption contests, fall caption contests that I entered. Not only I entered, they published it. Look, here's mine. <laughs> Coming soon, Kung Fu Panda 4. Wrestle Panda by yours truly. <laughs> one to watch. Kari or Kelly Morton, whose son is Ricky Morton. You know, the Rock and Roll Express. There's also Nostalgia Rewind about the Bret Hart DVD. Is it about? Yeah, it's about. I actually have that on DVD, yeah. There's also like joke books like from Barbers to, to Page Turners. Wait, they're not joke ones. No, 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 no. I don't think they're. Are they joke ones? Yeah, I think they're joke one because I recognize one. 83 weeks, 83 years later. Eric Bischoff continues his long standing fiction on the best 1.5 years of his career. Intensive release date, December 2080, 2081. There's also a fast count. Poem about what's going on in wrestling. Lock up about MJF. Win, lose, or draw. This one's about Drew Gallery not winning the world title at Clash the Castle. Sorry, there's a bunny. There's a hot seat interview with one of stardom wrestlers, Shinyori. Mostly about her trials and tribulations in wrestling, how she got there, her influences, her matches, her feuds. Now to the main event. The women's rankings, aka the women's 150. There's the woman you saw in the hot seat interview at number one. Yeah, this is her third appearance. Yeah, her third appearance 
And she's already number one. Number two, Bianca Belair. Number three, Funda Rosa. I actually saw her at Independence Show a very long time ago. 26 or somewhere in the layer 2010s. Becky Lynch, Jade Cargill, Cargill, Short and Grace, SK, don't know how to pronounce your name. Charlotte Flair. Bones. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Starlight Kid. Last but not least, Taya Valkyrie. She recently got booted, got shit canned by WWE, and now she works in MLW as our Featherweight Women's Champion. As usual, I'm not going to talk about every single one. There's a beat a while. I am going to talk about the bottom of the barrel one. Number 150, Hyper Natural. Signature move, superhero uppercut. Sports humorous, anti-hero gimmick. Not unlike W.E. Snicky Ash. Not revert to talk... Not ever to taking shortcuts in the name of success. Took part in the Tokyo Princess Cup tournament. It says tourney in the book. Beat DDT president ST in a Falls Count Anywhere bout at TJPW's Grand Princess Supercard. In fact, there's a picture of her right here. In case you want to know. Guy reports an in depth analysis of women's wrestling worldwide. It talks about the big three in the USA, which is WWE, still WWE, uh, yeah. yeah, because NXT is, in, uh, is under the WWE umbrella. AEW and Impact Wrestling. They even talk about like the Shoshi Revolution in Stardom and in Tokyo Shoshi Pro Wrestling. The Shoshi Independence. I, I, sorry, I was. They also talk about women's wrestling in the U.S. It in the U.S. indie circuit and the U.K. indie circuit. Some in Mexico and Oceana, Oceana. In Europe, new names, new titles, new opportunities. Also in the NWA, NWA, NWA. Welcome to the Brick House, empowering a new era. <laughs> His love puns. And last but not least, the AEW owned Ring of Honor. He also has the Achievement Awards, like, as it has about for Achievement Awards, like, Rookie, Most Improved, Comeback, Inspirational, Most Popular, Most Hated, Feud, Indie Wrestler, Match, Tag Team, Faction. 
Lemon and Rustler. And here's a ballot blank sheet. But I didn't do mine on this. I did mine online. There's also a spot on it one car coat. And the my car was First Wrestling Saturday Night Nitro, which took place at the Mall of America. Yes, the same Mall of America where WCW had their first Nitro back in 1995. I was 10. I was 10 back then, yes. Because I wouldn't turn 11 until December of that year. Thunder fog. <laughs> Close to closing, I'll talk more women's wrestling. And some cartoons, last but not least. Scooby-Doo. Well, there we have it. The PWI's. 15th Animal Women's Ranking, a.k.a. the Women's 150. Bye!